it's Michelle and today we're going to be doing a black cat napkin fold for Halloween. We're going to do it the same way that we did our Easter Bunny napkin fold but in black and we're going to shorten those ears a little bit to make it look more like a black cat for Halloween. So you're just going to need two black napkins and I've got these in the lunch size. The first one we're going to open up one time and we're going to turn it this direction where it's in the tall direction there. And I'm going to fold it over. Fold it directly in half just to get a crease. And once you get that crease, open it back up. And we're going to use that crease as a guide. We're just going to fold our corners down to meet right along that crease. This is going to create the point of our black cat's ears. So spin it around and do the same thing on the other end. These are not wanting to stay down, but they will, so don't worry about that. As we finish folding, it's going to hold that down. So I'm going to fold one of my long sides in to meet that middle crease. And then fold in the other side. Meeting in the middle with that. And we're going to do that same thing one more time. The long edge to the middle crease. And bring the other long edge to the middle crease. And now fold that whole thing in half. And then we're going to fold the length in half. And then we're just going to put a clip on that to hold it together and set it aside while we do our other napkin. For that we're going to open it up one time. We want it going widthwise. And we're going to fold that into thirds. You can just kind of eyeball that. If you want to, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to turn it long ways. And I've got my same acetaminophen bottle that I used on the bunny ears. Just to use as a mandrel to roll that up. So we get a good round shape. And you can use anything you want to for this. I just thought that acetaminophen bottle was just the right size for what I wanted. And now I'm going to take a piece of cording. I think I'm going to use this one here because it's sort of a grayish color. And I think that would be good for our black cat for Halloween. This one's sort of variegated colors. I'm going to unroll it till I get maybe that light part that I want it to be. And use that. So with that laying down... I'm going to 
bring our cording and tie that first into a knot not too tight so you don't pucker it and that's going to help form our whiskers and hold it together for us too sort of like our napkin ring and then we're just going to tie a bow now we want a big loose bow don't worry about getting that bow just right because we're going to cut that anyway make sure you've got it pulled where the knot is tight and then I'm going to bring in my scissors and I'm going to cut all of these making sure that I do cut the tip off of my loop and that makes the three whiskers for us there same thing on the other side being sure to cut the end of the loop and there are your whiskers I'm going to bring in my little mini flat iron I'm going to straighten those out a little bit So I think that lays a little better and we can just take that bottle out of there and that's going to stay in shape for us and we're going to take the clip off of our ears and when you do this if you want a more cutesy kind of cartoony looking cat you can line it on the inside if you want to refer back to the Easter Bunny napkin fold, um, we did line the inside of those white ears with a pink napkin. You can do that too. If you want to have a very cartoony looking cat, you could even do it with gray inside. It's up to you, but I think I just want to keep mine all black. I think we're going to go with Folding that right in half. Probably about how short we want it. And then with that crease, we can just kind of split that, fold it that way, and drop it down in. And be sure that you let those open up to kind of fill in the width. There, I think that's got it. You just want to make sure you've got it short, like kitty cat ears instead of bunny ears. And then that can sort of stand up at your place setting, and you've got a black cat napkin fold for Halloween. So you guys be sure to comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll put the links to all of those in the description below. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.